Okay, welcome to the, this is the second video of my gun law thing, but I'm going to basically put that to one side and talk about something else that really annoys me. In Britain, when a gun problem happens in the US, we get affected. Especially the, it's, it's, it's incredible. The UK papers, as in the broad, um, the press, seem to have this wild idea that as soon as a gun act, um, event happens, we've got to find a link with video games, and that pisses me the fuck off. Sorry. And it really does, because video games most of the time aren't the reason for these people doing this. A video game has never ever told anyone to go and murder. I feel that the way video games get portrayed in the press is harsh. When they are a growing medium that is very, very important. And I think, let's look at TV. TV is dying. Let's face it, it's dying on its... And it's, it's pretty much a zombie at the moment. Because, in my view, there isn't that much interesting on TV. And... People play video games, and these violent video games, which I've played most of them. I've played Manhunt, which I actually do think is a poor... It's the only game I've ever actually never completed. Well, never wanted to carry on going. It's like, well, it, it just... The game was bad. It's not that it was... I don't know. I said we were rambling me today, but let's get back. Let's get let's let's get back on topic. Video game violence is something that I think is not as bad as it used to be. Well, things like the Battlefield, uh, Call of Duty series, the violence isn't as bad as it was in something that say the Doom series and where you saw more blood and gore and was more of a horror game than a modern warfare fighting simulator which I think caused more problems I feel that computer game violence it's a little bit of a scapegoat for something that I think people really needed to understand. There are mentally ill people out there. Uh, there are people with problems. And it's I think it's one in ten people are going to have mental... I want to think it's one in five. I don't know. Well, no. God, brain's all jumbled up. But I think it's... Everyone is going to suffer a mental illness at one time in their life, whether it be depression, uh, psychosis. I was about to say psychosis, but I don't think that's right. I just feel that people should not look for a scapegoat in video games. It has been scientifically proven that video games don't cause violent behaviour. And I feel they actually restrain violent behaviour. This is my personal feelings on this subject. I feel that they restrain violent behaviour by basically being an outlet. If you've had a bad day, you don't go and pick up a hacksaw and just chop somebody in a bitch. You just stick on a video game and go and just go on a murderous rampage on Battlefield 4. Or do a couple of new kill streaks, and you will feel, you will feel better. It's more of a release, which I think 
The problem is the press have thought, oh, it's a release for tech, it's a release for violence, yeah, but it's releasing the violence to nowhere that will have any effect. It'll have, it, in the computerized world, it has no effect on anything. Unlike somebody just blowing up a bomb in the middle of a street, that will kill people, that will hurt, that will cause mental anguish. Killing people in a video game causes nothing. And there is another argument. We are training killers. I don't think we are. We're training idiots. I'm, yeah, if you if you even go on Call of Duty and you'll get called fag, noob, words that are too obscene for me to continue to say. But it's these people will not adjust to society very well. I feel that video games are a good place, but the press should learn their place, because video games, it's difficult to explain, but when it comes to violence, video games do it right in comparison to the press. Now, how do I, how do I, what do I mean by this? Most of the time, video games don't glorify violence. Well, how do, what, what am I meaning by that? Well, glorifying violence is something like getting your name in the press, getting recognition for killing someone. In a video game, you're likely to get points. In the real world, those points mean nothing. I got a 50 kill streak, and it's like, well, can you pay your house with that? No. Can you pay from a book deal from a violent killing? Yes, you can. You can, uh, I think it's illegal to actually do that, but you can do it. Um, you can make a name for yourself. And I think it's horrible. I think that video games are being scapegoated for something that the Americans and the British, well, the whole world really should stop and listen and look where the hell the problem is. These occurrences are not uncommon, but I think we should learn where the hell this problem is coming from. And video games are nowhere near the answer. I really feel they're nowhere near the answer. I What annoys me the most is the idea that people think that video games are the reason these people do it. They're not. They're really not. I feel that sometimes people really don't understand that the people who do this are not sane, they're not well people. Everybody who goes into a school or a building and shoots up everywhere is not a well person. Someone who goes into a computer game and shoots up everything there is and then co comes back to the dinner table and has a pleasant conversation with you and doesn't show any signs of illness or unwell being is a perfectly normal person. There are people out there who will... It's difficult to explain. Most of the people doing these shootings don't have computers, don't have games. They, they don't have the release that normal people like you and I have. And this is a, re this is a request from me to Fizz. What is your opinion on video game violence? What is your take on this? Because I really want to know. Because from a British standpoint, 
the Americans screw up really badly and they cause problems in the UK. Um, let's face it, the uh, no no Russian level in Modern Warfare 2, if you've ever played that. I've played it myself and yeah, it's it is a level that is disturbing but it sort of teaches you that basically this stuff does happen and to be doing it it's you're you're in control of the gun and it's like if it doesn't horrify you if the sort of mowing down people doesn't horrify you play that level because it should it it's not an instant effect, damn, that was horrifying. It's more, damn, you sort of think, later on, I did that. And that sort of, you sort of feel with the protagonists that you shouldn't be able, you want to get the people responsible for those events. You want to stick the knife in twice as hard. Because... You want to get into the game to kill the people who caused that massacre. I think I've said enough. Uh, Fizz, we're not... Uh, Fizz, can you just... I want your opinion on this, mate. I really do. And I'll... S there's an annotation when he puts his opinion up. And I, I... Please go to it. Please understand and go to that one, please. Thank you. Bye.